Hey guys, Juan Santos uh, here again. Uh, I'm going to show you an alternate method of how to solve uh, for voltage drops across a simple uh, series circuit. Uh, there's a thing called voltage dividers that uses what's, what's called the law of proportionality in order to solve for the voltage drops across uh, any three resistors that could be in series. Now, uh, keep in mind that the law of proportionality is nothing more than derived from Ohm's law as well. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, three resistors here, but we're only going to work with the first resistor. So let's say we want to solve for the voltage drop across the first resistor. Well, the formula for, for voltage drop uh, in a series circuit is the total current times the value of, of that resistor. That will give you the voltage drop at the first resistor. The other thing that we know is, is what the value of IT is, or what IT is actually uh, known for. It's the voltage total divided by uh, total resistance. Okay? So again, the total current is equal to the total voltage divided by the total resistance. Well, all they do in the law of proportionality is just substitute this value in over here with this equation. So they'll do something like this. ET divided by RT uh, times R1 gives you the voltage drop at, at E1. Okay? So this, in essence, right here is the law of proportionality, which is based on uh, Ohm's law. They, they go a little further and, and, and they break this ET over RT, and they kind of rewrite it a little bit different. Uh, they'll say ET times R1 divided by RT, okay? It's, it's, mathematically, it's the same, okay? Mathematically, all I did was move the total voltage down here and R1 up there, okay? So E1 is equal to the total voltage times R1 divided by the total resistance. And if you wanted to expand this even further, we have three resistors, you can say that E1 is equal to the total voltage times R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, and again, this equation here is the law of proportionality just as much as uh, this equation up here is. Okay, and it's all based on, again, Ohm's law. Okay, and you can do the same thing for the other two resistors. All you're doing is just uh, you know, if I'm looking for E2, it's the same equation except substitute the values out. It would be the total voltage times R2 divided by RT. Okay? And if you wanted E3, just swap them out. Okay? But besides that, this is how voltage dividers work. This is the law of proportionality based on Ohm's law. And uh, hope this video was helpful. If you liked the video, Give me a thumbs up and give me a subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, just fill them in in the comment section below. But besides that, appreciate you guys watching.